Do you like slice of life movies? You know, movies where you get to be a fly on the wall and watch a family live their life? Well, if you do, I have one for you. It's called The Zone of Interest. It's uh, nominated for five Oscars, including Best Motion Picture of the Year. So this movie takes place back in the day. It's about a family living their best life. They, uh have parties in their yard, uh, you know, they have this amazing dream house that they've always wanted, the dad is killing it at work, oh, but there's one caveat, the dad pretty much runs Auschwitz, and the family lives right next door to this concentration camp, and they act like it's normal, it's disturbing, all right? You're you're never really seeing what's happening, but you're hearing it throughout the whole movie. You're seeing puffs of smoke when people are being incinerated. You're seeing people respond to the smells of burning flesh. This movie's unsettling, and it's fucking menacing and dark and haunting. And it's kind of really digital, and the colors are blown out. And I don't know, overall, not for me. But it could be for you. Honestly, in my opinion, there's no story. There's no beginning, middle, end. The family doesn't get their comeuffins like I want them to get. And the big turmoil for the family is uh, the dad is getting promoted and they want to have the family move and lose their amazing house. Oh, I'm sorry. People are dying right next door to you and that's the biggest fucking problem? I don't know. I don't know why people want to relive this type of thing, but I get it's important to not pretend it didn't happen, but I don't think people should have to watch it. I don't know. But it's not for me. But if it's for you, let me know why it works and why I'm wrong. Let's have a conversation about it. And if you happen to like movie review podcasts, you should check mine out. It's called Movie Toast News and Reviews. We're available wherever you get your podcasts. Please check it out and stay toasty.